Now, since that landmark Supreme Court decision that addresses and resolves significant jurisdictional issues raised in McGirt versus Oklahoma, there are many questions from property rights to crime. And today, the Muskogee Creek Nation answering some of those questions and posting them on their Facebook page. The Muskogee Creek Nation says they and the state are committed to ensuring that offenders face justice for the crimes for which they are accused and are committed to maintaining public safety and long-term economic prosperity for the nation and Oklahoma. Many wonder, does this ruling place convictions in question and will Indian people who are in state prison automatically be released? The Creek Nation says no, individuals in prison will not automatically be released. In fact, this ruling will impact few convictions. Any person whose conviction might be affected will either remain in prison or face re-prosecution and re-incarceration by tribal or federal authorities. Any challenges to convictions will be evaluated on the merits. Another question asked, what does this decision mean for non-natives and property owners if they live within the boundaries of the Muscogee Creek Nation or other tribal nations? Well, the Creek Nation says it does not affect anyone's property ownership and that all existing contracts, leases, and title to property remain as they were. They also break down how crime will be handled. Tribal and or federal court will handle native on native crime, native on non-native crimes, and native victimless crime. Federal court will handle non-native on native crimes. State and or federal court will handle non-native on non-native crime and non-native victimless crime. Now, there were several other questions answered. To read all of the other questions, we have a link to this story for you on our website, kgrh.com.